Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica. So if you have seen my most recent Zara try and haul video, one of the items that I got was this faux leather oversized blazer. I did promise you guys that I would do a styling video with them. So this is why we're here today. And just a little bit on this blazer. So the price point of this was actually really good. It was, I believe, 69. The thing with faux leather blazers that you really have to be careful with is that some of the cheaper ones, they just look cheap. <laughs> um, I don't really know how else to explain it, but it's you can just tell by looking at it, it may look thin, um, it may wrinkle really easily, it may not like fall well, the stitching isn't as good, or it's super shiny. The super shiny one is definitely something you're gonna want to avoid. That's why I love this one so much. It has a boxy fit, it has a little bit of shoulder padding, and I've had this like rolled up, folded, and it does not wrinkle or crease at all. And it does have a very subtle sheen, but majority of it is more matte, and that's kind of what you're gonna wanna shoot for because this looks the most like real leather, um, but obviously we wanna go faux. This is a piece that has been in for, oh my God, I didn't even know how many years. Like it's literally year after year after year, faux black blazers are just such a staple uh, for fall and winter. So it's definitely something that you're gonna want to invest in because you're gonna be wearing it for years on end. It's so versatile and it's just such a stunning piece. So without further ado, let's get to styling. This first one is more kind of like a chic, but yet still casual look. So when it comes to dressing blazers down, I like to roll the sleeves up at least twice and then kind of just pull it so it gives it more of just, you know, a relaxed feel. Um, I paired it with a bodysuit, some just kind of like flowy shorts, and then these Chelsea boots that I've kind of been in for like quite a couple years now during the winter and fall. But I love it because this plus the boots are more kind of like a masculine feel, but I feel like the bodysuit and the shorts kind of give it more of like a feminine, softer feel. So during the winter and fall times, I definitely like to play around more with different textures and kind of different like clothing weights, if that makes sense. And then just make outfits that are pretty simple, but kind of have just like a little bit more of an edgy and different take on them. So another option that you can do, which I don't know, Probably won't be the most popular choice, but I did pair it with some black vintage cowboy boots. This is again different, but I feel like it still kind of gives it like a cool flair. So if you are into mixing vintage pieces or just want to be a little bit different, um, I feel like this is a cool choice to still look cohesive, but again, just gives it that little like extra zhuzh. Next is just your quintessential LA casual look. I have a white tee tucked into some 90s kind of paper bag denim. I cuffed the pants just to break it up, give it more of a casual feel, and then just paired some little tennies with it. This is one of those outfits where it's like, I want to look put together, but I don't want to think really hard. So basics, you can never, ever, ever go wrong with them. And I feel like this is all just like really, really hot trends right now. The dad sneakers, the balloon pants, the blazer, it's just something that's simple yet still on trend. The next pairing is more of kind of like a grungy military look. So I paired it with some taller combat boots. I tucked the pants in since they are more of a balloon flare. And then I laced the boots a little bit lower just so you can see some of the pants still and kind of gives it like that V-line effect. Because it is casual, I'm keeping the sleeves rolled up and then pulled up as well. I wore something similar to this last winter i paired it with my black parka and i just loved how it looked it was super simple but i just loved how the black and the brown complemented each other so i feel like this is more of like a city chic updated version of that this next pairing is definitely more of like a city chic look i feel like this is totally something that i would wear if i was in new york or in europe or something 
So I just layered a mock neck long sleeve under the blazer. I buttoned it up. But because it does have a slit, however, you don't want to wear this as a dress because your butt is going to show. So I recommend just wearing some black shorts under something that is short enough so that it doesn't interfere with the hemline of the blazer. So it makes it look like you're wearing a blazer as the dress. In terms of the sleeves, I love layered looks. Obviously, you guys already know that. Um, so the sleeves are quite long, and what I did was I just ended up tucking the sleeves inward to shorten up the sleeves a little bit so then I could give myself this extra little fabric to kind of hold in my hands to make the layers look a little bit more prominent. And again, just pairing it with the Chelsea boots and then some gold jewelry. I feel like it's a very chic and just effortless, really easy, comfortable look. For the next look, pretty much just took out that bottom layer. I completely unrolled the sleeves and then I cinched the waist with a statement felt. I feel like this is also really fun. This screams more LA winter just because it is a little bit warmer so you don't need necessarily as many layers. Um, but yeah, I think this is really cute too. I feel like the belt just gives it a really, really fun look and then just kind of breaks up the outfit because it is a lot of black. Or if you wanted to do a black belt, then you can definitely go with more of a statement purse. And I feel like that would be a really fun outfit too. This next one definitely gives me like off-duty model, Hailey Bieber, going to run some errands, like total vibes. So I did keep the length of the blazer sleeves long just because I wanted that like baggy oversized boyfriend feel. But complementing it with just kind of more of a bodycon mini dress and then some sneakers to just make it very cool girl casual throw on a little mini purse some sunnies have like a latte in hand and you're good to go last but not least we have this very just casual effortless look i mean effortless as in like literally you're wearing a matching kind of sweatsuit some sneakers and putting a blazer on top Everyone loves a good sweatsuit, but I feel like adding this on top just kind of gives you that extra layer of edgy. And you could totally wear this to the airport. Um, this could be a fun travel outfit. You can wear this just running errands or like getting a coffee. If you're colder in your sweatsuit but don't really want to layer on too much, I feel like this is a really good alternative to look super cool girl, but like using the most minimal effort ever. I hope you guys enjoyed that styling video. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Blazers, especially oversized ones, and faux leather ones are so versatile and they're literally timeless. I love a good just black blazer, but what I love about the faux fur is that it kind of has that extra sheen to it, so it gives your outfit just a little bit more than what a normal black blazer would look like. It wouldn't be as flat, and I feel like because it is faux leather, it is slightly more elevated as well. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys again very soon.